Hey everybody, it's Susie. Welcome back to my craft room. Okay, so today we are going to be working on our baggies, our glassine bags and stuff. Now this one was not the, the glassine. This was one of those brown ones. Remember it had the polka dots on it? And so um, with this particular paper I'm using, and this is, you know, about a sunflower journal, so I wanted to keep this, this little poem here. And so I cut that down to fit on the bag, and then I just glued some extra little pieces on here, you know, to create some interest, just, you know, kind of decoupaging a little bit on there. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice. I, I like the way that, you know, it all kind of blends it together, and that really looks kind of like a label. And I may end up putting a label down here once it's time to decorate. I don't know why this is in here. This is from the other day. Sorry about that, y'all. Had it stuck under here to dry. Okay, this is one of the small little bags that I made. Oop, in the brown, it hadn't completely dried yet. And I need to glue that down a little bit better. But um, yeah, that's another one of the bags that I made. So let me just glue this down some. And I am just about out of this three in one. I mean, I am down to the dribbles of it. Uh-oh, I need to keep it upside down. Oh, no. Look at here. We have a volcano effect. Let's stick this under here somewhere. Oh, my goodness. This... Mm, I hate when it does that. Yeah, it is just, like, everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, wipe that off. Put that lid on there. Let me mash this down. Oh, my. I got glue everywhere now. Oh. The nice thing about the three-in-one or the fabric tack or whatever is it will rub off. Kind of like it's not, you know, oh gosh, I need to put a card in there so that doesn't stick. I had to glue that seam back down again. Okay, now I think I have those issues worked out. Okay, so this was another one that I just kind of decoupaged some pieces on. And I think it turned out really cute. It, it has the sunflowers. It brings the blue in that, you know, is kind of in the other parts of this kit that I was using. And then like a little, you know, label right here. And then, look at here. I pulled it up. I need to turn it back over. Let it dry some. Yeah, I'm making a mess, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay, let me put it under here to dry. So, y'all see what that one looks like. And this one. I think that one's dry. Seems to be. And then I did this one, and this is one of the bigger pockets that I made out of the uh, brown, like, glass scene that came, like, from a cracker package or some kind of, I don't know what it was, but some kind of brown packaging. And so then I just decoupaged some pieces on here. I wanted to leave this open for journaling space here. And then I just, you know, added a couple little pieces in there. So you can make your pieces as big that you want to put on here or as small. I just happen to have these bigger ones for this. So now, today, we're going to work on, you know, some of these other ones. I'm going to still cut this one down. Um, I just don't want it that long. And so, anyway, we have some bags that I brought in here to work with. Um, and you just, you know, you use whatever it is that you have. And if you don't like working on the glassine or you can't get your glue to work or whatever, because, you know, these can be pretty tough to get glue to work on. Um, I have not tried hot glue and haven't talked to anybody who has, so I don't know if hot glue would be the trick. But anyway, I brought my scraps back in uh, that we were using before. These are actually my sunflower scraps, so let me put these back up. I don't want to get these mixed up with the other ones. As you can tell, I just finished making my sample ones, if you want to call it finished. I guess after they didn't turn out so well, I shouldn't say I finished them. Um, oh my word. And it just keeps it coming. That's one of those scraps. Okay, we're just going to call that good for right now. I'm struggling to seem to be random and all up. All right. Sorry about that. Now, back on track with what we're doing. So, now I just want to pull in some pieces to decoupage. Let's just work on three at a time. I'm, I'm going to leave this rounded part. So, I think I'm going to take that bag down to about... Well, I need to leave a little bit for my fold-up. So, let's take it down to about here. Just 
going to shorten this up a little bit. You know what? I could have cut that in half, I guess, and probably saved that piece. How big would that bag be? That would still be big enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Then I can save the other part of the bag, and that way you can use it twice or for two different bags. I like it. So, we have this one, and this one, and this one we'll, we'll work on. So, I'm just going to pull some pieces in just to kind of see what I might want. Like I said, you can use as big a pieces or small pieces as you want. Um, you know, lay them however you want to. They'll look just great. Ooh, I like that. Let's put that... think like oh it goes this way doesn't it it is directional okay I think I'll do that and cut this one down just a little bit but I think I want to use a piece of this over here all right, I'm just going to start gluing down. Otherwise, I'm going to change my mind 10 times. Now, I have not tried this fabric fusion on here. So, we're going to try it. I do not know if it'll work or not. But since I'm out of the three-in-one, I did get some art glitter glue in to try. Because I've never used it. And it's very expensive. And I just thought, well, you know what? I can make do with all my other glues. But I did want to give it a try. And... Um, but I didn't order the special nozzle, the one with the special nozzle, just to save a couple of dollars because I have about, I don't know, 10 or 12 little bottles like this that I'm going to put some in. Plus, I want to give some to Joanne to try. See what she thinks of it. Because we share our stuff. Oh, my. This is a lot runnier than the three-in-one. Oh, my. I mean, like that. Okay. And then I think I want to do... I think I want that up there. I like that, but I want to take the white edge off. And yes, I know I didn't ink these. I didn't ink them on, on purpose because I'm going to kind of ink over the whole thing. I'm just going to glue these pieces down. And remember, this is runny. I'm trying to, to remember to work up here so y'all can see. I know my camera angle is not perfect, but the, the sun is extremely bright today. And when I turn on my lights in my room, you know, it, it makes zero difference because the sun is so bright over here at my work area, which I love it. I love light. So I'm not complaining at all. I'm gonna put that right there. I like the layering up. I think it, it gives it a nice, uh, oh goodness, um, a nice feel to it. You know, it's, it gives it dimension. It gives it some character and I really like that. So I'm gonna stick that like right there. Maybe let the bag show a little bit on that side. Yeah, this is very, very, very runny. Woo. Okay, I think I want to put that up there. I don't need it quite that long. Use scraps to make more scraps. Okay. I think this is the wrong piece. It is the wrong piece. All right, let's just stick it on something. I guess I have committed to that piece being there, huh? Okay. And this is the piece I want to put right there. And of course, they don't have to be even. They don't have to be straight. Oop, that's upside down. They, you know, you don't have to have them, you know, in any kind of 
uh, you know how we talked about, uh, I guess it was yesterday, um, you know, your positioning and stuff. You don't have to, you know, do the, the whole thirds um, because we will be decorating these up. Uh, but I still kind of tied in the peaches together in a triangle. And when you when you make a conscious effort to do it, after a while, you end up doing it and you don't even realize that you're doing it. It just kind of becomes like second nature to do it. So anyway, I think that one's really pretty. I like it. Uh, once that dries, I could try to punch a thumb hole, but I have found these glassine pieces don't punch very well. I need to let that dry. I'm going to stick this under here and let it dry. Okay, and let's do another one. Uh, I guess since I started this one, we'll just continue with this one. Ooh, look at there, y'all. And I could leave that as a tuck, couldn't I? I like that. I like it. I like it like that. Mm, I don't know where that came from. Let's see. I know, I'm not going to find the perfect piece, Emma. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Sorry I bumped y'all. Okay, how's everybody doing? I mean, what, what's everybody up to today? Is it beautiful where you are like it is here? I think it's about mid to high 80s today. I'm not sure that it was supposed to get quite that warm, but anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. This stuff is kind of like just a little thicker than water. It's awful. Not very thick at all. Maybe I should leave the lid off and let that kind of thicken up some. All right, where'd that corner piece go? I might just leave that plain like that. Or maybe not. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it, y'all? Y'all like that? All right. I don't know if y'all could see that. I'm sorry. I put this piece, and of course, this was the one I just kind of stuck on there a few minutes ago, you know, when I was going the wrong piece. Then I put that one, and then I think I want to put this corner piece right here and just glue it, you know, along the edges, and this will be a tuck, and then, of course, you know, the bag itself will be a pocket. I like that. So that's what I'm going to do is just along these edges. And I would really like to use this to put just a little tiny bit on, but... Uh, it's clogged up. So I now have to take, that's uh, some more of that 3-in-1. But I need to clean that nozzle, I guess, with some uh, fingernail polish remover to get it where the glue will come out again. I poke pins in it and everything else and nothing works. So it's going to have to... Oh, 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 that's stuck. Not yet. Okay. Oh, that's going to be cute, isn't it? I'm going to stick this under there and let it dry for a minute. Or two. How many is that? Oh. Okay. Just making sure things aren't sticking everywhere. I don't know what I did with the lid to that. Oh, right there. All right. Let's pull in another one. Okay. This is the one that I cut in half, remember? So I'm going to take advantage of this one.
you know what, we could tear these pieces instead of uh, cutting them if you wanted to. I think I'm gonna let a little bit of that bag show. So. Okay. Well, that's where I cut her face off, isn't it? Oh. Cute torn up like that, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. What about this one? Yeah, let's do that. Don't leave that piece torn like that. I think I do. I think I do. I think I like that. I do. Okay. See, everything doesn't have to be all nice and neat, and everything doesn't have to be torn, you know. Just put things down and look at them. I mean, I think you'll you'll find that if you don't stress over it too much and you just kind of go ahead and get committed and put your pieces down, once you walk away and come back, you're really, really going to like them, you know, if you don't like them right at the moment. Um, you know, sometimes things will hit you right away and, you know, sometimes you're just doing and then later you come back and you think, wow, that turned out a lot better than I thought it did. I really, really didn't like that to start with. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be staying up here. If I've been off frame the whole time, I'm so sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so. Okay, and y'all are probably saying, no, don't put that right there, but I like that right there. I could have made that a pocket, I didn't think about it, or I would have. But I've got too much glue under there now. I've committed, so here we go. Man, this is runny. I definitely need to put some of this in one of those little bottles because it is just coming out everywhere. All right, I think I like that a lot. What do y'all think? Y'all like that piece? Y'all might hate it, but I like it. I really, really like that. I, I love how it's all a little bit different, a little bit, it's not electric. Y'all know the word I'm trying to come up with. E eclectic. Okay. All right, so there's that one. Let me pull the other two in. And that one. Oh, that's the one I did to start with. I'm missing one. Oh, it's stuck. And that one, okay. So these are the three that I did on camera. I need to glue that back down a little bit better on that side or that corner. And that's going to be a, a, a little tuck right there. And then, of course, you have your, your bag pocket. And then depending on how you glue it in, you know, it can be another pocket. And then we have this one, you know, which, of course, you'll be able to use your pocket. And this one, which you can use your pocket. And I think they turned out really nice. I like them. They don't take up a whole lot of time. It's a great way to, you know, use your scraps up. So, you know, I encourage y'all to, to make some of these. They're, they're great. And play around with your glue. I think the main thing, whether you're using PVA glue or Fabri-Tac or Fabric Fusion or Art Glitter Glue or whatever, the main thing is just to let them dry before you try to do anything with them. Um, yeah, I knocked over something earlier and my dog is trying to get out of the room and he just kind of crashed into it. It's kind of funny. All right, so that's those for today, y'all. Now, tomorrow we're going to start making tags for our pieces. So we're going to go back and we're going to pull out the the ones that we did at the very first. Let me see if I can grab them real quick. Okay, maybe I can't. Oh, here we go. Um, I believe, that I'm confused, and I've hidden my pieces from myself, y'all, and that a hoot. Oh, here we go. Whew. 
I was getting a little bit concerned here. All right, it's going to be these envelopes that we made that with the windows in them. These are going to be the very first ones that we do. And let me pull this out. And this was the pretend one that I made, right? Yes. Okay, now it's not going to be these that have the tuck right here. It's, it's going to be these window envelopes like this that we covered around and put the little corner tuck on. This was the one that I made to show y'all as an example. You know, it's from a sunflower journal. And then these are the three that we made together on camera. You know, and it's got the tuck here, the, or the pocket here. It's got a tuck here and here. And then, of course, on the sides, and depending on how you glue it down. So, tomorrow, we're going to make tags for these, okay? Um, I'll go ahead and have these done already, but we'll make these together tomorrow. And your scraps, your, you could make some scrappy tags, you know, with your scraps. Just keep using your scraps up and make some scrappy tags. And they look really cute. I may do that. Um, I'm not sure yet. For now, I'm going to clean this up because I need to, uh, you know, do some other projects that I'm working on. And then we will work on getting our tags for these tomorrow. So it's going to be exciting to start seeing our pieces come together. Um, because for the next, I don't know how long, we're going to be making tags for all of the pieces that we've made. And then we're going to go back and decorate. So I think, you know, it seems like a long process. But, you know, it's kind of good to go back and revisit these and see how they look. Because I even like them better now than I did to start with. So pull out your wind envelopes. They should be the very first ones that we did that have this the slanted pocket on the front and this is what we'll work on tomorrow okay i want to thank every everybody for being here all my new subscribers all the ones that have been hanging with me thank you thank you thank you i love you all um i appreciate y'all so very much and um all you know just please if you're just visiting for the first time please subscribe and everybody you know hit the hit the like button of course and um, get hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And please leave me a comment. I'm still not getting my comments like I'm supposed to, so I'm having to go back and, and read, you know, look at each of the videos to see if people have commented. And uh, so I have sent an email about it. Hopefully I'll get an answer soon and I'll start getting my notifications right. But anyway, um, I'm really excited to have y'all join this, this with me. This is just absolutely a lot of fun, and I'm excited about doing these. So this is what we're going to work on tomorrow. Okay, y'all, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you tomorrow. I need to put these under here to dry. Make sure they're dry. Okay, blessings and hugs, everybody. Bye.